Ooh, hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. I am stoked. I am stoked because I have an ADV tactical offering that is actually a collaboration to make something that is better than every other something. And I think they might have pulled it off. Um, this thing is amazing. So this is the Stinger. I do believe they called it. Um, and it's pretty awesome. So everybody knows that OTFs can only be made in America, right? Everybody knows that Andre de Villa's ADV Tactical is based out of South Africa. Therefore, Andre de Villa's can't make these in his shop. No, 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 he can't. He makes the the highest quality folders on the planet and his fixed blades just insane insane quality right so the guy is used to making all these crazy wild things with zero blade play and amazing tolerances and, and the materials are just phenomenal it's what he does so when he wants to put together an otf he wants to make sure it's going to be the best he wants the best it's what he does so look at the roller oh it's got the roller um so what he did is he contacted these guys um, here in America called Backup Tactical. Backup Tactical makes a lot of like um, gun parts, like uh, like barrel ends and thread protectors and mag extensions and compensators. And they, they make everything as CNC machined. Everything is 150% top quality materials. And everything is made perfectly. These guys are perfectly if you're a gun guy as a matter of fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the link for this knife down below which you can get right on backup tackles uh tacticals channel and you can go ahead and look at some of the other stuff they make um but you're definitely going to want to check these out this is the star of the show right here amazing and it's cheaper cheaper than some of the more famous big brand otfs oh yeah um so when Andre came out with this and put up the first one, I was just blown away. And I said, yeah, man, I need one. I need one. And oh, I have one. It's a pretty big knife. This is like a combat Trudon esque um, The difference is, I think it's just made a little better. Uh, everything is CNC machine made. Everything is hand fitted. There's no machine... Uh, machine assembly in this at all everything is perfectly done so you have perfect tolerances um this knife is freaking amazing we need to go into some of the specs here um i like it, it there's a whole write-up on it uh andre uh designs these automatic knives um and backup tactical manufacturers them um, they use the finest steels, finest aluminums, finest titaniums. Um, everything is CNC machine. Like I said, everything is hand fit. Like I said, everything is hand assembled. Like I said, um, it's just the highest quality OTF that you're going to find anywhere. Um, and they stand behind their products hundred percent. So if you have any issues or problems with your knife, contact them immediately because they will take care of it. Now it comes in different styles. It comes in different colors. And it comes easy to use. A lot of people with the Combat Trudon especially, um, they say that the, the worst thing is, oh man, it takes I have to, two hands to, to, to use it. This is super simple, snappy, easy, awesome. Um, and it's good looking. It's good looking. So one of the things is, the, the reason I chose this model is because I have this. I have this. So when Andre put these out and I got to see the different ones, I was like, well, tell me if those aren't born to be together. If you have one, you cannot not have the other. It's just the perfect pairing of amazing. This is obviously the ADV Tactical Ring Dagger, the Brutus Ring Dagger, and it is awesome with its frag pattern handle. To have these two, I mean, man, these are two tactical combat daggers that will get you through any and every situation you can find yourself in um but uh just super awesome let's get into let's see the i don't know 
where the all the information is um, on the oh specifications. I knew it had to be somewhere. Uh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So, so now you don't have to find it. T6 aluminum milled chassis with hard anodized coating. The blade length is 3.6 inches. The steel type is S35VN. The thickness is four millimeters. Uh, the pocket clip is titanium milled with the ADV tactical roller. So I'm I'm guessing I don't know if uh, if they make the clips because this is yeah I would assume that Andre does because it says ADV milled and this is how he does his stuff. Um, first of all, with the roller and his pocket clips are always milled to perfection. They are perfect. Um, the weight is 4.7 ounces. Um, the closed length, it's just wonderful. The closed length is 5.055 inches. Got a great grip. You have your um, window breaker right there with the ball in the end. Um, then it has style. It says, uh, this is the black black chassis, partial serrated. And then they have all the different styles and you can pick out yours. Um, so these are awesome. I didn't even plan on doing a review today because I'm so busy getting the house ready for sale. But... I want to carry this and you know, I don't like to test the knife after it's been used unless I'm getting a knife that's already used. Let's see how the edge is real quick. And just like anything that would come straight from Andre, it is 100% crazy razor shave sharp. That is razor sharp. Um, and... It, <sighs> That is an Andre staple. You're going to get great um, uh, great edges. The, um, I just completely lost my train of thought. Um, great uh, edge geometry, and you're going to have sharpness, 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 sharpness. Uh, he just makes sure he does that right. So when he brought in these guys from Backup Tactical, you knew that was going to carry on because Andre doesn't settle for second best. He just doesn't. The guy wants to make everything the best. He completes that task. Now, obviously, this is a stabby, stabby self-defense piece, so it's not gonna. It's not a bushcraft knife. So we're gonna test this thing like it's a self-defense knife, but we're gonna test it with its sharpness and all that. So uh, let's take it outside. Come on. All right. First things first. You got to get a good look at it in the sun. Just got you. This thing is amazing. What a beautiful freaking knife. Um, Guys, if you're into OTFs and you just want the best, follow the link below. This is where you find the best. I mean, tolerances, looks, materials, um, every single thing that makes an OTF the best is what you're going to find in this package. Let's go set it up. Whoo, can't wait to get to Arizona where all my tripods are. I don't have a single tripod here. All right, so let's do... a. Um, a couple of four foot gravity drops. We'll see how that bite goes. Ooh, you can see how far the, the rear pulls because it's a really nice heavy handle. And that one dropped actually pretty straight. Wow, that, that went in pretty good. You went about a half inch on just that drop. Let's do a couple hard downward throws. Now it's this knife is not made for that obviously, but I again have good confidence in these guys. Bam, that was nice and hard. That was nice and hard. <laughs> it touched the silver part. So I got all the way to that little diamond right there at the tip. Um, just nice. It's not going to affect anything. This knife is made to work. So, oh, let's go with this. Let's go with the rubber hose. I want to go to the uh, to the serrated area here. I've never um, tried to cut hose with a serrated edge. Um, and being a lefty, I'm on the probably the, the wrong side of it but we're gonna try anyway and it's still gonna cut because the edge geometry is just fantastic um, you can see I'm going in a circle rather than going up so I'm cutting the whole thing if you're wondering why I didn't knock off a piece yet um, bam just like that it is just freaking sharp it's strong it's not going anywhere it's not moving anything just freaking awesome let's see here this is your EDC OTF but if you just work the knife right 
it's going to shave just like your bushcraft blade. I mean, look at this. That is super, super nice. If you're wondering what kind of curls we're getting, we're getting fire making curls right there. That is just super, super sweet. Let's try the uh, serrated edges here, even lefty. Oh my gosh. That is super, super nice. Um, I'll tell you, when, when a knife is made right, eh, it's, you don't even have to say anything. It just works. It just works. And this knife is every bit of a working knife. This is EDC extraordinaire. You know what I mean? If, if you are, you never know when you're going to get hit with a storm. I mean, we had Helene come through a lot of places and just destroy things. And you never know when you might need a knife to do things like start a fire and survive. Um, this is not what it's made for, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, so you never know if the knife that's in your pocket is going to be the knife that is going to be the one to keep you alive. Wow, this is pretty good. Keep you alive in a dire situation. And if all you have on you is your OTF, um, you want to know, can I cert? Wow. Can I, I flip the uh, serrations around to the other side? It is digging in like crazy. Wow, that is insane. Just from flipping it around. Look at this. Now I'm going to flip it the other way and, and do the same thing. It wants to take like bigger chunks going in this direction. That's pretty wild. You can actually feel the difference from switching the serrations around. It's smoother. When you put the shiny side down, holy mackerel. That is amazing. I mean, that's a nest right there. That is a nest right there. Uh, that's fantastic. That is super, super nice. Here we go. Let's take the, uh, the leather. And I'm, I'm in the serrations, which makes it obviously harder to cut a medium like this. But even, even with the serrations, I'm still able to shave straight through the leather. Let's see if I can just get the, um, just get the plain edge. Yeah, no problem. Am I in the shot? I am in the shot. Um, no problem. It's just carving. It's just carving. Um, this... <laughs> This knife is so comfortable in the hand. Uh, really, really special. Uh, Andre makes the best stuff. And this isn't me saying it. Th he makes the best stuff. He, he didn't even make this. Backup Tactical made this. This is Andre's design. And he found a place who makes things to perfection. Because that's all he can handle. That's all he wants. Is he wants his stuff. Anything with his name on it. It's gotta be perfect. It's gotta be perfect. And uh, this one does not disappoint. So I wanna find something that I can hit and slash. Uh, being a, a fighting knife, self-defense knife, that's what I, I wanna be able to do with it. So hold on a second. All right, so I got this little soccer ball right here. Nice fleshy stuff. <laughs> and that was pretty easy. Um, it's just pretty, pretty special. Um, pretty, the, the cuts this thing is making is insane. That is insane. Let's try a slash. That is insanely good, insanely sharp. Now, if you're wondering what kind of cuts this thing is making, that is called devastating. That's what that is. That is absolutely devastating. Here's one of the slashes. Here's another slash. That is freaking crazy. And you can use it to skin if you're in a pinch. That is crazy. That was really nice, actually. All right, let's try something it's not made for. I want to try and take a swat at this. It's a dangly little tree. Let's uh, see if we can't get through it. Oh! Look at that, I think I hit it like a little sissy. Let go a little lower so I don't hit the same spot. <laughs> that is nice. That is 
super, super nice. You can see how big that is. Let's see, I got another one right here. Man, that is super, super nice. Let's do some more. All right, well, we had a timeout. Shelly decided to come out to the driveway to get a little workout. <laughs> oh, oh, she, she's an incredible athlete. All right, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because I have it balanced and I have to lean across some stuff because I just have nothing to put it on. Everything is pretty much gone. I just want to take a couple slashes at this. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. All right, that took a nice cut, but what I'll do is I'll try and hit the edge just the edge down. Think about it, I mean, if you're cutting through something like this, you're cutting through something like that. You know what I mean? Skin is gonna break just as easy, if not easier than stuff like this. And that is super, super nice. Wow. That is super, super nice. And I'm, I'm not hitting it soft. I'm swinging pretty hard. It's a lot of downward force there. Look at the size of that cut going all the way through. Um, there's a lot of force. So on an aluminum chassis, and I'm holding it at the end, and this is not how you use an OTF in self-defense. You're going to kind of choke up on it, and it's going to be for thrusting. But on an aluminum body, a lot of times what will happen is since aluminum is so, it's light, that's why they use it, and it's, so it's softer. And aluminum can move if you use cheap stuff. So by holding it way down here, I'm putting a whole lot of pressure up here at the axis, right? And uh, if anything was going to go wrong, it would go wrong there. If anything was going to bend internally, it would bend there. And then we'll see if the action is still flawless. That is just crazy. <laughs> All right. All right. Hold on. Ooh, I was sweating my nuggets off in there. All right. So... Um, it, it's, it's ADV tactical, <laughs> it's backup tactical. I mean, this is one of those combinations like Reese's, the two great tastes that taste great together. It just doesn't get any better than this. And when I say that, I don't mean it just doesn't get any better than this, except for the ones that are better than this. No, this is it. This is it. He was on a quest to have the best OTF made. He succeeded. This is it. Man, I'll tell you what, follow the link below, check them out, fall in love, get yourself a great knife, and have a nice day. Hi, I'm Donnie B. Aldi. Until next knife.